How did the city of Rome come to be? Numidor, the good king of Alba Longa, was overthrown by his brother, Prince Amalius. In order to secure his throne and ensure that he would have no competition, Amalius killed all the male heirs and banished Rhea Silvia, Numitor's beautiful daughter, to the Temple of Mars, the god of war. He thought that there she would not be able to have any sons to reclaim the throne. But Rhea Silvia married Mars, and they had twin sons, Romulus and Remus. When Amalius discovered this, he ordered that the twins be thrown into the Tiber River. A she-wolf discovered the twins, took pity on the boys, and saved them. The wolf cared for the boys until a shepherd and his wife adopted them and reared them as their own. The boys grew and gained many followers. When they discovered their true origins, that they were princes, they killed their great-uncle Amalius and had the crown restored to their grandfather, Numitor. Rather than wait to inherit the throne, the twins decided to found their own city to rule over. They argued where to establish the city. They agreed that it would be on the banks of the Tiber River where they were saved. But Romulus wanted to found the city on Palatine Hill, and Remus wanted to found it on Aventine Hill. Romulus began building a wall to secure his boundaries. Mocking his brother's efforts, Remus jumped over Romulus's wall. Seized with anger, Romulus killed his brother Remus. He completed founding his city and declared himself ruler, naming the city after himself, Roma. And that is the story of how in 753 BC, Rome came to be. Or so the legend goes. And that's all, folks.